March 8, 2025. Thermal monitoring stations across the Bay of Naples recorded simultaneous temperature spikes that defied every geological model. Underground water systems beneath Campi Flegre were hitting temperatures normally seen inside active volcanic conduits. Within hours, international teams confirmed what Italian authorities refused to announce. The supervolcano's hydrothermal network had transitioned from stable warming to critical overheating. This is not about future eruption risks. This is about steam explosions that can level city blocks without a single drop of lava. Phreatic blasts occur when superheated groundwater meets fractured rock, creating instantaneous pressure releases with the force of industrial explosions. Campi Flegre has spent two decades building the perfect conditions for exactly this scenario beneath Naples' most populated districts. Geothermal monitoring reveals systematic pressure buildup as underground water transforms into trapped steam. Dr. Grazia Delandro described it bluntly. When water rapidly flashes to steam during earthquake-induced fracturing, it signals steam-driven explosions. That is not theoretical language, that is a countdown mechanism operating beneath residential neighbourhoods. But here is what terrifies volcanologists. Steam blasts do not follow eruption timelines, they follow pressure physics. One earthquake, one structural failure, one moment when the underground pressure cooker finds a weakness in its containment system. When a supervolcano's heating system reaches explosive temperatures, what prevents the pressure release that could reshape a metropolitan area in minutes? To understand the urgency of Campi Flegrae's thermal crisis, we need to examine the hydrothermal patterns that have defined this restless caldera for centuries. The Romans built their thermal baths here for a reason. Campi Flegrae's underground water networks have been interacting with magmatic heat since before recorded history. But the hydrothermal danger spiked in 1538 with the Monte Nuovo eruption. That catastrophic event was preceded by intense ground heating and fumarole temperature increases that lasted mere days before the blast. It was an early warning of the speed at which Campi Flegre's underground thermostat can go from warm to weaponized. Modern geothermal monitoring began in earnest during the 1969 to 1972 Brady Seismic Crisis, as the ground beneath Pozzuoli heaved a staggering 1.7 meters in just three years. Thermal readings showed a hydrothermal system kicking into overdrive, with temperatures climbing in lockstep with the seismic swarms. But it was the 1982 to 1984 emergency that truly rattled scientists as ground temperatures surged to scalding levels just before a series of major earthquakes forced the evacuation of 40,000 people. In a geological instant, Campi Flegre's hydrothermal network had transformed from a bubbling curiosity to a potential urban bomb. This lethal potential isn't just theoretical. Steam explosions rank among the deadliest volcanic disasters because they strike without the geophysical warnings we expect from magma movement. In 2014, Japan's Mount Onteke killed 63 hikers in a sudden phreatic blast that came out of nowhere, with no increase in earthquakes or ground deformation. In 2019, New Zealand's Wakari, White Island erupted in a steam explosion that instantly killed 22 tourists and guides, hurling 400 degree water and debris across the crater. Even smaller hydrothermal blasts can be lethal. In 2012, New Zealand's Teimari Crater unleashed a steam-driven eruption that launched truck-sized boulders over 1.2 miles, destroying park buildings and cratering roads. In each case, the only warning was the invisible buildup of underground heat and pressure until the system found an explosive outlet. Dr. Tiziana Vanorio of Stanford University confirmed the same risk now hangs over Campi Flegre. She said steam-driven explosions are triggered when liquid water rapidly flashes to steam 
during fracturing caused by earthquakes. Current thermal readings show Campi Flegre's hydrothermal system operating at these exact critical parameters. To visualize Campi Flegre's thermal threat, imagine a pressure cooker the size of a city, its bubbling contents sealed beneath layers of fractured rock. Geothermal mapping reveals a vast hydrothermal reservoir trapped beneath the Pozzuoli district, its pent-up energy growing by the day. The word pressure captures the scale of the danger. Groundbreaking research from Stanford has identified the key ingredient in this underground time bomb, a mineral-rich caprock that acts as a self-sealing pressure valve. As hydrothermal fluids heat up and expand, they dissolve the rock above them, which then recrystallizes to form an airtight lid. The term self-sealing explains how the system can trap enormous energy. Seismic data shows this caprock has been self-reinforcing for over 24 years, as groundwater levels steadily rise in the trapped reservoir. With each passing day, the hydrothermal vault grows larger and more pressurized, a balloon expanding toward its bursting point. Thermal imaging now reveals the staggering scale of this heating. Subsurface temperatures across the Campi Flegre caldera are climbing in unison, indicating not just a localized hotspot, but a systematic thermal takeover of the deep aquifer network. The entire metropolitan area is sitting atop a geothermal powder keg. The scary part is how quickly this thermal crisis is escalating. Ground uplift from magma intrusion and gas expansion fractures the brittle caprock, opening hairline cracks for fluids to escape. As the pressure drops, those mineral-rich waters flash to steam, instantly re-cementing the fractures and trapping even more heat in the rock. It's a vicious cycle that turns every ground deformation event into another twist of the thermal ratchet. Each earthquake sends fresh fractures ripping through the caprock, creating new weak points for the pressure cooker to exploit. Above ground, the scale of this thermal surge is breathtaking. Campi Flegre is now pumping out 1,557 tonnes of carbon dioxide per day, not from an erupting crater, but from the soil itself as the hydrothermal heatwave vents through every crack and fissure. The latest geothermal surveys show underground temperatures rocketing toward the 142 degrees Celsius threshold, where liquid water becomes pressurized steam. It is a thermal red line that, once crossed, transforms groundwater from a passive risk to an existential threat. Seismic monitors show Campi Flegre's crust is already cracking under the strain. Burst-like earthquake swarms now rattle the caldera weakly as the pressure cooker probes for weaknesses in its prison of rock. Each tremor releases a puff of steam, a momentary jailbreak quickly sealed by the mineral-rich water. But it is the changing chemistry of these steam puffs that confirms volcanologists' worst fears. Hydrogen sulfide levels in the fumarole gases are spiking, a telltale sign of water flashing to vapor at the very edge of its stability threshold. The pressure cooker lid is starting to wobble. Nowhere is this thermal torment more visible than in the ground itself. Precision GPS mapping shows the land surface deforming in real time as hydrothermal expansion warps the caldera floor, a slow motion blister growing beneath Naples's crowded streets. Campi Flegre's hydrothermal system is not just overheating. It is approaching the catastrophic failure point, the moment where pressurized water becomes an underground bomb waiting for a seismic detonator. For the 900,000 people living above Campi Flegre's rapidly morphing pressure cooker, hydrothermal Armageddon is not some distant abstraction. The boiling point is already beneath their feet. The most immediate impact zone straddles the ancient Pozzuoli district, where fracturing rock and seismic swarms create the perfect delivery system for underground steam bombs. Even a minor hydrothermal blast here could level city blocks as pressurized water flashes to vapor with the force of an exploding boiler. 
Thermal models show a steam explosion today would generate a devastating shockwave out to a two kilometer radius, subjecting residential neighborhoods to a blistering barrage of water and rock traveling at supersonic speeds. The ground would effectively weaponize itself and the threat extends beyond the moment of detonation. Across the Campi Flegre caldera, underground utility tunnels and building foundations now sit in the crosshairs of a roving thermal heat wave as superheated fluids migrate through the fractured crust. Burst water mains, buckling roads, collapsing apartments, infrastructure built for a stable world now faces an existential threat from the very ground on which it stands. Even a minor steam explosion could trigger a devastating domino effect as the hydrothermal hammer propagates through the urban maze. The most chilling aspect of Campi Flegre's hydrothermal crisis is the sheer unpredictability of the threat. Magma-driven eruptions operate on geologic timescales with clear seismic and geochemical precursors that can provide days or weeks of warning. Steam explosions detonate in seconds. They convert groundwater to high explosive vapor in the time it takes for a single fracture to split open, unleashing the full force of a subterranean bomb in the blink of an eye. Evacuation plans designed for the stately progress of rising magma are useless against steam blasts that strike with all the warning of a terror attack. Emergency response protocols written for lava flows and ash clouds, now face an invisible thermal enemy that can reshape neighborhoods before the first 911 call rolls in. Campi Flegre is not an isolated incident. It represents the extreme edge of a global trend as urban populations expand onto the flanks of restless hydrothermal systems. From Yellowstone to the Andes, Major metropolitan areas now sit atop geothermal tripwires, one seismic jolt away from catastrophe. But even among this deadly company, Campi Flegre stands alone. No other urban center in history has been perched directly atop a regional hydrothermal bomb, just as its thermal fuse hits the critical threshold. For Naples, the question is no longer if the pressure cooker will detonate, but what will happen in the moments after the underground thermostat finally ticks past its breaking point? When the ground beneath the city turns to steam, emergency response becomes a matter of physics, not planning. The cold equations of Campi Flegre's thermal crisis point to an inescapable conclusion. In the face of the imminent hydrothermal threat, the scientific consensus is chilling. Dr. Venorio's experimental work leaves no room for doubt. When groundwater recharge creates overpressured systems, steam explosions become inevitable once temperatures exceed water's stability threshold. The physics of Campi Flegre's underground pressure cooker make a steam blast mathematically unavoidable. The temperature readings are already in the danger zone. The cracks are already channeling fluid to the surface and the water itself is now a physical bomb in geological form. The grim reality is that phreatic explosions operate on a hair trigger. Once groundwater crosses the 142 degrees Celsius threshold, it exists as a superheated fluid that will flash to steam the instant a seismic hammer strikes its container. Data streaming in from Campi Flegre's monitoring network confirms that hammer is already in motion. Seismic swarms are now a daily drumbeat, each tremor delivering another blow to the hydrothermal chamber. In this geological game of Russian roulette, evacuation planning becomes a statistical gamble. How many warning signs does it take to pull the trigger on a citywide exodus when the gun in question is a 100 square kilometer steam bomb? Traditional, eru traditional eruption indicators are worse than useless in this scenario. Waiting for harmonic tremors or gas spikes when the threat is a flashbang, thermal detonation is inviting catastrophe. The seismic precursors that warn of magma movement will only signal a phreatic blast in hindsight, a geological autopsy of a disaster that strikes without warning. For Naples, living on geologic borrowed time, 
the thermal tipping point is not some abstract data point. It is a city-wide Sword of Damocles, a superheated tripwire strung beneath the streets, waiting for the slightest seismic nudge to unleash underground hell. When a hydrothermal system crosses the 142 degrees Celsius threshold, physics takes over. Pressurized water will become lethally explosive steam. The instant a fracture network gives it an outlet. Campi Flegre's fractures are already in delivery mode. One earthquake, one crack in the pressure cooker armor. One second is all it takes for water to become a weapon, for steam to become a citywide scythe. Campi Flegre's thermal scans are now a countdown clock to the moment the underground math turns murderously simple. When water hits a volcanic breaking point, there is no geological off switch. There is only the instant the temperature climbs one degree too far. For the people of Naples, that makes thermal monitoring a minute by minute referendum on civic survival. So the next time you see a press release touting Campi Flegre's stable hydrothermal readings, the next time a politician points to the lack of eruption tremors as proof of safety, ask yourself a single question. In a world where water itself becomes an existential threat, how do you build an early warning system for a bomb that is already beneath your feet? This is Earth Attacks, where we expose the thermal threats reshaping our planet, while emergency systems remain calibrated for yesterday's dangers. Subscribe and stay tuned for our next deep dive, where we will reveal how Campi Flegre's hydrothermal crisis could trigger a catastrophic chain reaction across the Mediterranean. You will not want to miss it.